in terms of psychoemotional distress, there is a better way of looking at these eight extras. And that better way is um, about how the psyche unfolds over the seven and eight year cycles of James. So this would be a way of looking at the eight extras in terms of growth and development of consciousness. Um, so we begin with the first ancestry, which are the Chong, Du, and Ren. These give us all the resources. The next vessels would be the Wei vessels. The Wei vessels, the Yin Wei and the Yang Wei, are responsible for linking the primary resources of the first ancestry to the postnatal channel system. They're about deciding over time from birth to death where the resources get distributed. The next vessels in this sort of expression of how the psyche develops are the yin chow and the yang chow. These are considered the third ancestry. The chow vessels determine how the resources get used for locomotion. So they're more about the here and now, not about the process over time. How do I get chi to my legs so that I can move forward? Um, the last vessel is the daimai. The daimai is the only horizontal vessel in the body. Its job is to harmonize and integrate. It has in its horizontal function a capacity to influence the first ancestry, the second ancestry, and the third ancestry. And when we get to the daimai, we'll talk about that in greater um, detail. But the image is um, an image where we come from this state of oneness through the Changmai. The Changmai is undifferentiated yin and yang. And so it has within it everything. It is the foundational vessel of the um, eight extras, the blueprint, as Jeffrey Yuan calls it, the fountainhead, if you will. It gives birth to polarity. And it gives birth to polarity because once again, as human beings choosing to be um, incorporated into a meat skeleton, um, we must embrace polarity in order to live. And so the Chiang Mai shrinks in on itself, makes a little space and then gives birth to the Ren and Du, primary yin, primary yang. From there, those resources are used through time, through the Wei vessels, and then through space with the Chao vessels. And then the Dai Mai becomes either a tool for integrating the whole system because it touches it all, or as a way of creating a repository for latency for trauma, which we will talk about later. Um, I think it's uh, more effective when you're talking about psycho-emotional conditions to look at the eight extras from this perspective rather than from the nuclear pairing. The nuclear pairing of lung seven and kidney six, SO3 with UB62, is very useful if you're trying to uh, impact a specific area of the body. For instance, when you combine lung seven with kidney six, you get the front of the body, you get the abdomen, you get the chest, you get the yin aspect of the body. When you combine SI3 with UB62, you get the back of the body. And so if you're trying to influence a physical area, then the nuclear pairing makes sense. But if you're trying to impact consciousness and the psyche and psycho-emotional distress, I think this is a much better way of looking at how these um, eight extras interact with each other. So, Let's talk in the simplest terms about how to create a treatment. Because as we go along and we talk about each of these individual vessels, I'm actually going to have you work in breakout groups and create um, some treatments, um, some small, simple, elegant, effective treatments. So the first thing you need to do is choose a vessel. Mm -hmm.